here we go back with the story regional final uh, got us a new venue here uh, in quarantine uh, the storms have missed us out back getting some fresh air uh, actually sun was shining for a while turned out to be a pretty nice day anyway the story final pits number one spook versus number three blue glimmer um, this is going to be a battle of the tackle archives versus the tackle graveyard as you can see the spook there on the left um, hasn't hit the water a whole lot for many years on the right, the remnants of all the Blue Glimmer family, uh, the fiber shaft family of spinnerbaits that featured the Blue Glimmer. Um, that's a testament there you see to the uh, addictiveness of this bait and actually the marketing of these. Uh, they had uh, multicolored uh, Roy G. Biv, about every color under the rainbow, and, and I sure enough got them. But nothing produced quite like the Blue Glimmer. Um, like I said um, in a previous post there, I've only got one left in the package. The uh, earlier one that I got out here that I've shown you here it busted the blade off at Lake Story so that one joined the tackle graveyard as well as far as the spook here we're looking at the uh, from the left the top one the blue shore minnow below that the black shore minnow uh, next one was a crazy one that I got on my honeymoon that uh, unfortunately uh, even though purchased on my honeymoon never got real lucky with that one and the bottom one there is something that my buddy hack used to call the pickle uh, this is a uh, version two or three of that one actually one somewhere out in a cornfield in Knox County near Ponder's Pond. I launched an errant cast and canvassed the area but uh, but never found it. So lots of stories. Uh, that old black shore minnow there, I lost one of those at a, a pond, Imstrom's Pond, a famous pond that we used to fish near Gelsberg. Um, so I was pretty bummed. Dad and Brent went out uh, a day or two later, found it floating in the moss and returned it. So it was just meant to be. Um, that was my uh, my top spook when I, when I do throw it. But like I said, I haven't thrown it for years. Um, so we've got um, the tackle graveyard there with the blue glimmer. Um, fortunately, this day and age, we can rebuild it, much like uh, Frankenstein's monster. Maybe Bob the Builder, yes we can, or uh, the six million dollar man, we can rebuild it. And there we go. I've got some skirts that I purchased that uh, will produce a reasonable facsimile of the old blue glimmer. Therefore, in an upset, number three, blue glimmer moves on with the victory over the legendary Zara Spook.